Welcome to the Aquaterra Landfill. This facility is classified as a Class II bioreactor landfill. Its 16 staff members manage the disposal of garbage and recycling items that are brought from residential and commercial haulers, businesses, and residents in the Grand Prairie and surrounding area. The landfill accepts a long list of items. This includes household waste, cardboard, vehicle batteries, propane tanks, electronic waste, tires, metal and appliances, drywall, wood, concrete, and asphalt. Items that are not accepted at the landfill include paint, hazardous wastes, reactive or flammable waste, gas tanks, and car bodies. When you pull into the landfill, your first stop will be the scale house. Our scale house operator asks each customer about their waste and uses specialized computer software to weigh their load. The operator at the scale house uses their radio to let other operators on site know where the waste is going. Each vehicle is weighed when it arrives and then again when it leaves to accurately account for how much waste is disposed of. Residential customers are directed to the transfer station to sort and dispose of their garbage. Operators help customers unload their items into bins. These items include household garbage, metal, wood, cardboard, tires, and yard waste. We remove Freon gases from up to 1,000 fridges per year. Household garbage will be taken to the active face of the landfill. Materials like tree branches, concrete, and asphalt will be reused on site and everything else is sent away to be recycled at other facilities. Can you believe that over 1,000 recyclable materials are diverted from our landfill each year? The recycle shed is open from April till November. Reusable items can be placed here and taken by other customers. We also accept bottles for our bottle donation program. Each month, the proceeds go to a different local nonprofit youth. 2004, over $700,000 has been donated to charities in Grand Prairie. The active face is where large commercial trucks come to dump their waste. This waste is collected from our residential curb production containers from around the city. A compactor is used to spread the waste evenly and pack it down. This helps reduce the smell, stops litter from flying around, and helps give us the best use of our airspace. The first five cells on the active face were built in 1988 and took 18 years to fill. Cell six took six years to fill, and cell eight will take approximately three years. The Aquaterra landfill currently has room for over one million cubic meters of waste. It's estimated to be active for the next 80 years. Each cell is built with a special liner to keep in the water and liquids from the garbage. This liquid is called leachate. Leachate is a critical component in the landfill. It aids in the decomposition of waste and it is pumped to the adjacent storage pond where the water is treated. Through natural processes, all landfills produce methane and carbon dioxide. Traditionally, the gas emitted from decomposing waste has escaped into the atmosphere. With the completion of the bioreactor landfill gas to energy project, this gas is now collected and used to generate our water and wastewater treatment plants. The mixture of organic waste and garbage with bioreactor technology accelerates the decomposition process and also accelerates landfill gas production. Through pipes drilled or laid in the cells, 
The gas is captured and pulled from landfill wells into a generating station. There, all water is removed and the gas, primarily methane, is burned in engines connected to generators to make heat and electricity. Our water and wastewater treatment plants use this green energy to produce high quality tap water. It is also used to treat the wastewater that is returned to the Wapiti River. The bioreactor landfill gas to energy project will substantially reduce greenhouse gases. With this innovative technology, we can essentially remove the emissions from over 12,000 cars in 2016. By 2037, it will be the equivalent of over 19,000 cars per year off the road. By reducing our environmental footprint, combined with cost savings from generating our own heat and power, we will provide an opportunity to stabilize rates for all Aquaterra customers. Aquaterra, helping grow healthy communities.